Hey guys, welcome back to another Product Spotlight. My name is Brandon Funky, Product Manager here at 3DX Tech. Today we're going to be talking about a very interesting material. We've heard it called the overkill option and the nuclear option. Today we're talking about peak. Peak or polyether ether ketone is a high performance thermoplastic known for its exceptional mechanical, thermal, and chemical properties. First, let's talk about the mechanical properties. Peak boasts a tensile strength of 100 megapascals, a tensile modulus of 3720 megapascals, a tensile elongation of 28%, a flexural strength of 130 megapascals, and a flexural modulus of 2700 megapascals. With a melting temperature of around 350C and an H HDT of 150 C, its standout feature is its temperature resistance, making it ideal for demanding environments. But what does this mean for 3D printing? It means parts printed with Peak are exceptionally durable, resistant to chemicals, and capable of operating in high temperature environments. This makes Peak a favorite for industries like automotive, aerospace, and medical. Peak strengths are clear. Its high strength to weight ratio makes it perfect for aerospace components, reducing weight without compromising integrity. In the automotive industry, it's used for parts that need to endure high temperatures and mechanical stresses. And in the medical field, its biocompatibility and sterilization resistance makes it ideal for surgical instruments. However, no materials without its challenges. Peak's high melting point means it requires a specialized 3D printer capable of reaching these temperatures and its tendency to warp can be a hurdle without proper print settings and preparation. This is in large part due to the high level of crystallinity that Peak has. When printing Peak at elevated temperatures, the layer you just printed will crystallize so that when you go to layer the next part on top of that, which is amorphous since it's molten, they won't bond properly. Some peak users are getting around this by printing slightly lower temperatures, which leaves the whole part amorphous. This increases layer bonding strength, but now the whole part will need to be post-processed annealed to ramp that crystallinity back up to get peak's optimal pro properties. If this isn't done properly, the finished part will warp and fail. Additionally, peak is more expensive than any other filament, which can be a consideration for budget sensitive projects. Printing with Peak demands precision, high temperatures, and a controlled environment like a heated build chamber to prevent warping and ensure successful prints. In summary, Peak's ability to handle high demand applications secures its spot at the top of the polymer pyramid, but it should only be really used when all of your other options have failed. Its exceptional strength, temperature resistance, and chemical stability make it a top choice for industries where reliability and performance are crucial. At 3DX Tech, we're excited to offer Peak filament as part of our advanced materials lineup, whether you're in aerospace, automotive, medical, or any other field requiring top tier performance, Peak is a material that can meet your needs. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more material spotlights. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the world of 3D printing materials. Until next time, happy printing.